In this video, I will be demonstrating and explaining a proper skin puncture. So for this procedure, you're going to need a lancet, you're going to need disposable gloves, a 2x2 two two gauze pad, an alcohol wipe, a biohazard sharps container, as well as an adhesive bandage. So for this procedure, you're going to want to start by sanitizing your hands, greeting the patient, and verifying their full name and date of birth. After you've done that, you're going to want to explain the procedure to the patient, make sure they understand it fully in its entirety, as well as answering any questions that they may have. After you've done that, you can begin to assess the, the patient's fingers, and you are going to want to use either the third or fourth finger um, for your puncture site. In an infant, you're going to actually want to use the bottom of the heel instead of, you never want to use the finger. So um, once you've, you have figured out which finger you want to poke, um, you're going to start by massaging the finger from the base to the tip to promote um, good blood flow to that site you're about to stick. So once you do that a few times and you see the tip of the finger kind of turn a reddish pink color, you know that there's good blood flow established and you are ready for your skin puncture. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to apply gloves. You'll want to sanitize the area with your alcohol wipe by um, going in circular motions all the way around the finger in the area of the puncture. And then you're going to let that dry and you're going to make sure that you do not touch that after you have used the alcohol wipe. So once that dries and you've already sanitized your hands, you've already applied your gloves, you're ready for your skin puncture. So you will then take your lancet and you're going to place it on the side of the finger slightly towards the center. You can see about here. You don't want to do on the middle of the finger or on the top of the finger. So you kind of want to be right in this spot or in this spot on either side. So you'll place your lancet, you will press firmly down so the needle releases into the patient's finger and then retracts. You will immediately dispose of your lancet into the biohazard sharps container. And then once you have a single drop of blood, you'll take your gauze, you'll wipe that single drop of blood gently, and then you will produce a second drop of blood and once you do that, that's going to be the drop of blood that you will use for um, any other test as your um, specimen. And so once you have established that second drop of blood, you're then for this procedure going to apply gauze to the site. And you can have the patient apply pressure using um, their finger and hold it there. And at this time, you want to make sure that you've disposed of all of your materials um, and make sure that the patient's wound has clotted properly. Once you've done that and inspected the site, then you will apply an adhesive bandage, and that is it for your skin puncture. 